This is Abe Friedhanser from Awards Watch, and I'm thrilled to be here speaking with Martin Strange Hansen about his film On My Mind, which is on the Oscar shortlist for best live action short film. How are you today, Martin? I'm good. Pretty good, yeah. It's a little uh, winterish here in Denmark, but uh, apart from that, yeah, good. Thanks so much for being with me today. Uh, this is a really sweet film about a man determined to sing a song for his wife. And from what I understand, it's based on your own experience of loss. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's based on uh, actually at one point we were waiting for we were in that limbo with, with my daughter, uh, where we are in the middle, middle of we don't know if it's going the right way or the wrong way. Uh, and she's sick, she's in hospital. And I walk into a bar to get a double whiskey just to, I mean, I need to sleep tonight. I haven't been able to sleep for weeks at that point. And while I'm there, there's this just weird feeling of people being in a totally different time zone than me. And that kind of stuck with me. Uh, and then I, then the, afterwards, there was also this feeling of, well, when you are so close to those dis decisive moments in, in life, which we all will be at one point or another. Um, there's something about rituals that becomes so important. And for him here, there is this song that is that just connects him with the life he has had with the, his wife. Yeah. I really like that. And the character of the bar owner, is that someone you encountered in real life or is that just another obstacle for your protagonist here? Well, yeah, he's definitely an obstacle for the protagonist, but I think we all met him. I mean, a little stingy, a little uh, too clingy to his cash and all that. Uh, yeah, but uh, definitely he was written, of course, as an obstacle, but uh, we developed him along the way, with, along with Ole, who was uh, playing the main, main part. Uh, so, so, yeah. And the bartender, in contrast, is a lot more sympathetic and really goes out of her way to help him, I think, right? That's right. She is, I mean, she is the experienced barkeep who has a you know just that sense of hey there's something going on underneath the surface of this guy and she becomes quite curious uh, and she knows the best way is to withdraw a little give him a little drink and then at one point he might open up uh, which is what happens and the good thing also is that she can tease his butt her boss with that yeah have uh, there been any, any surprising reactions to this film from those who have seen it? Uh, I mean, one of the things that, uh, I won't say surprising, but one of the things that really, really touched me, I've been, every time I've been able to go to a screening, I go, because for me, it's kind of important to feel how the, the film connects. And I must say that uh, sometimes I just turn around during a specific scene, and I just see water everywhere. And that for me is like, well, that was kind of, it, I didn't want everybody to cry, but I wanted to reach people's heart with this film. Of course, and I think you do. So thank you so much for making this film and for taking the time to speak with me about it today. And best of luck yeah. in the Oscar race. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot.